Okay, my name is John Golia, G-O-G-L-I-A, pronounced Golia, right? and I am the Executive Director of the Aerospace Maintenance Skills Competition, and today we find ourselves in Miami Beach Convention Center, where we have over 200 people competing for, for prizes, tool prizes, and a whole host of areas related to aviation maintenance. And we are blessed to have the sponsorship of Snap-on for the tools, provided all the tools for the events, and we are testing multiple skills, electronic, basic safety skills, as, as long as very detailed uh, uh, performance-based skills, such as things that are simple as sealing a windshield, just like sealing your bathtub, very similar to it. But other areas, very, very technical, such as uh, electronic repair, uh, re repairing the pneumatic instrument system on airplanes. We've heard a lot about that lately because of some recent crashes. And uh, testing fuel quantity systems on airplanes, as well as simple sheet metal repairs. And we use we have uh, skills that they require them use of their mind, written test uh, skills. So in aviation, it's not just mechanical dexterity that gets you through the day. You have to use your head. You have to be able to think and that's what aviation maintenance is all about, using your hands and your head to come to a solution of a problem. So we're testing them against the clock right here, and they're competing for a, for a number of prizes that they get personally, but not only that, but they get the recognition from them for themselves, and their companies for being among the best of the best. This is the place where people come to demonstrate their knowledge, skills, and ability and the trade that they've chosen to, for their career. And it is a good career, uh, Miami is loaded with aviation companies. There may be more aviation companies in southern Florida than anywhere else in the country, and there's a lot of jobs to be had and a lot of vacancies right now. So if people are looking for jobs, this is the place to be, and this is in a great area. To be.